Welcome back friends. This is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with another quick insight and uh, well, it's not a, a tutorial per se, but more of uh, what I've been able to achieve today. All right. So guys, if you're new to my channel, uh, do please spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell. So you are alerted when I post a new video like this one, cool video. And uh, thank you so much to all my patrons, guys. I truly appreciate your support. You guys I encourage me. They inspire me to create, you know, pro uh, tutorials like these ones, like insights like these. So thank you so much, guys. So what you're looking at, guys, is my head mounted uh, camera. A camera, head mounted camera rig that I made from my wife's uh, bike helmet. Uh, I, there was a day that uh, I, I was desperate. I just needed to create a facial animation and I looked at her bike helmet. It was really sitting right there and I said, you know, let me rig up one of these, uh, you know, phone hand uh, holders. And and this is actually from, uh, it's fast, the first uh, iteration that I did was uh, from, uh, a guitar stand for my guitar stand but anyway today the reason i'm doing this test guys is that i know so many of you have commented and said you know if we have an android phone is it possible for us to create facial animation for the meta humans or upper or custom characters right fortunately the meta humans are fully rigged they're ready for animation right and fortunately uh faceware studio has you know is has given out that six month free uh license together with a glass box live client because you need the live uh the live <laughs> the glass box live client to drive uh the facial animation to take the facial animation from faceware studio into the unreal engine all right so today that's what i'm doing so on the screen right now to the right is me uh wearing this uh homemade head mounted camera rig and on the left is a, a meta human that's a custom meta human that i created using the meta human creator early edition right so guys and that actually i said with i said with a base <laughs> i'm so excited guys so let me slow down i started with a preset from quixel bridge you know, that's how I ended up with the, that character. So I took that character into the Meta Human Creator, customized him, and then brought him back into Quixel Bridge, and then sent him to the Unreal Engine. Okay, and then hooked it up. You, there's a tutorial that I, I created, and I'll share the link in the description of the of this video, uh, showing how I was able to link the Meta Human together with Faceware Studio to run in the with a new custom Meta Humans that is. So guys. For every Android user out there, today is actually a good day because this test shows you that if, if you can't afford an iPhone 10, right, that you can actually use this to drive the, uh, the MetaHuman facial animation just like you see right here, right? So the reason why you see the head of the MetaHuman not moving is because this is a stationary, the, the data is stationary as you can see from the uh, on the right hand side there. So if I have a motion capture suit, it will be able to take the rotation of my head and then the meta human will be able to move, right? So today was uh, me doing this quick test to see how well it works. And also, so what I'm doing, uh, to, I'm ha I have uh, OBS recording on the desktop because I wanted to be able to capture both the phone I'm, using, I'm shooting actually with my iPhone 10, the one that I'm pointing at right now. <laughs> iPhone 10, you no longer the, the only big cut in the in town, right? There's a new sheriff in town. Well, new sheriff, I don't know, new iPhone. No, this is Samsung in Note 5. I don't have the latest Note, so maybe Samsung can send me a new Note, right? Just to test, but it's an idea. But anyway, I'm using my Note 5. You know, so which means that uh, guys, if you have an older, not uh, rather Android phone, this should work as long as you're able to have a camera on here. And uh, I'm driving this with uh, two softwares and I'm going to do another video, in-depth video showing how I hooked up everything. There's like a trick to it. It, it, it. It's not transmitting right away, but it's using Wi-Fi to send this signal from here, from my, I, from my Samsung phone to the uh to 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 uh, faceware studio and it's i'm using that face in faceware studio i'm driving that as a a video uh, as a live video source so live 
uh, streaming, streaming into Faceware Studio using the Glassbox Live client. So oh, I have a tutorial that I created showing how I did or I hooked up all that from beginning to end, like from when you download that uh, MetaHuman project that you can actually hook it up, all right? And this is a, a custom MetaHuman, again, that I created using the MetaHuman creator. And as you can see, now it's not a one-to-one -one, uh, ratio, which means that if you record audio, you know, like I'm using my <laughs> my wireless head, headset right here. If you record audio, it means you may have to slide it a little bit uh, to match the lips of the character, you know, because I think you, right now I have a, a gigabit connection for my Wi-Fi, but because I am streaming, so many things are happening at the same time. So, so much data is being sent bet between, you know, these devices. So already <laughs> I have Wi-Fi for this headset, and then I have Wi-Fi for the uh, this phone, the, the uh, Samsung, the Android phone, that is sending that so and then obs studio is also running in the background but overall i just wanted to show that this is working guys this is actually working this is an android phone it's not an iphone and so i think the challenge for us as indie filmmakers guys has been that uh, due to lack of funding uh due to budgetary constraints but there's been a hesitance to even dive in to try the meta humans. So for Epic Games, I think, I mean, when they set out to provide the meta humans, initially, of course, it was going to be focused on the iPhone 10 and Air Kit. But uh, because of Faceware <laughs> solution, Faceware Studio and uh, Glassbox Live Client, uh, fortunately, as my uh, this demo is showing, it is possible to use an android phone guys to drive a meta human character to create your facial animation so again please uh watch my next i'm gonna create another video that shows me using all of this together with the the, the perception neuron uh, studio suit uh and to show like the, the character the meta human walking around so they so that you can see the head rotation so there's a slight bit of head rotation here and there, and that is because uh, right now I've not strapped in properly, and I have to tighten the back of this uh, helmet. But once it's tight and there's no shaking, I, can, I think you can see the, the shaking when I do that. If Because uh, the one that I've been using doesn't have, I'm not even using a strap, but on the back of this helmet, there's a, a, a like a, a knot that you can actually turn and tighten. Uh, I've just, I had actually a back injury, I think this past week. And so I am trying not to hurt my neck again, but I wanted to show this demo. Guys, I, I, I am suffering on your behalf, so you don't have to. But I'm trying to show you that it, what is possible is that uh, you can have your homemade head mounted camera rig, or maybe even a professional camera rig, mount your uh, Android phone, and then uh, drive it using <laughs> faceware studio and then put in the source of course I've, i'm i'm holding out because i want you to watch my next video i want to show you how this all happened and how it came together so today was just a, a quick demo to showcase bah, 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 like that and i think in my there's a previous video that i recorded and i said you know as a, with a as a meta human it would be good to uh, beatbox right and I think I saw uh, one of my friends, uh, he's an, an, uh, a fellow YouTuber, it's JS Films. He did like this really cool rap <laughs> with Eminem. And so I'm like, that's really cool. He said, you can actually beatbox. <laughs> so the meta human is struggling, I think, to do the beatboxing, but it shows you the potential like as long as you don't have so much data streaming back and forth that it is possible you can sing you know amazing grace how sweet the sound i'm not a musician guys i'm just showing you what is possible
this is gonna be awesome like especially for musicians who can truly sing and actually play the guitar or instruments on the piano because i, I remember there's a video that i did showing uh me playing guitar wearing the accent suit together with uh, the minus gloves and so even with the perception run suit you can do the same thing because we, we have gloves in there and so if you have a, a musician that has a head mounted camera rig and probably not the one like i, I have now because this, I, I wouldn't trust this on anyone's head uh, this is my head <laughs> it's like, i can't afford to choke someone's head right now but when you get head mounted camera rigs for example the uh, mark 4 system by, by faceware that one is really comfortable and comes like in the, when you get that Mark IV system, it has three helmets for little kids, uh, for medium and uh, a large size. So if you have a, like, a little kid that is going to be performing your, like in your short film, this is a cool way uh, to do it. So if you have like a bunch, I think uh, with the, the license, uh, I ha again, let me, uh, I'll leave that for the next uh, uh, tutorial uh, in my next video. But today was just a quick example to show that it is possible to use your Android phone to drive a meta human. And this is, uh, again, the data is too much, but I'm just, just showing what is possible, guys. So please, guys, uh, my fellow dreamers out there, never give up on your dream, guys. Even if you're faced with luck, try to improvise and use whatever is possible. And as this shows, you can actually use your Android phone, even if you, because I know not all of us can afford uh, an iPhone 10, right? So. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, see you next time with another quick insight and uh, tutorial. And I'll also be following this up with a, a, a detailed tutorial on how I actually got this to work, to be able to actually wirelessly send data to the Unreal Engine. So much love. Don't give up on your dreams. And I'm praying for everyone that is affected by the pandemic, guys. Uh, I know this is a trying time, but uh, please don't give up on your dream, whatever you do. Uh, may we take this time to actually dig deeper and uh, you know write stories draw something do something every single day to bring that dream to life as always guys much love and if uh, for everyone that is affected uh, whose relatives have been affected by the uh, coronavirus i am praying for you i have you in my thoughts and prayers guys please stay safe please stay safe whatever you do and dare to dream big peace out solomon bye for now